Hello, my name is Ritu and I'm in sunny Costa Rica. It's not so sunny today and you might hear a little thunder in the background but that's music for my ears and it's so fabulous to be here. My story began in India, you know, with a very, very faith-based background. I love basing myself on faith, Buddhism, yoga, on meditation, kirtans, listening to kirtans is like sound therapy for me. And I grew up like that. It was amazing. And you know, life took me from, from one thing to another, from Buddhism to Vipassana, from Vipassana to life coaching, from life coaching, I went on to Ayurveda. And I decided then that I wanted to just continuously learn and grow. And so my life has always been about, if somebody says 99% not possible, I make it possible. It's happened, I've done it. And yet after all these years, what I really want to stress on today's story is that very recently I had a setback. It came about in such a way that I couldn't believe it. And so it was just like my first few days of Vipassana. In the first few days of Vipassana, for no reason. There are emotions that emerge from within you that you cannot explain, like anger, like frustration, leading to guilt, you know, that self-beating. And I, I said, did I run away from Vipassana? No, I didn't. And so, I'm going to go deep within me. It was so hard, believe me. We all know that's really hard, right? That's what I did. I went back to my basics of Buddhism, my faith, my Vipassana, my nature. Does the sun ever stop rising, no matter what happens? And by doing that, I went within myself. I discovered my smaller self. I embraced it. And then from there emerged my greater self. And I said, I'm not going to give up. And so, even though after so many years of being positive and, you know, making things happen, one does go down and one can go down at any stage. And my learning at this point was, go back to your basics, go back to your faith, look at the nature around you. Does anything stop happening? Does the universe stop moving? No. And so I stood up and it was actually really mind valley my interactions and, my, and, and the people that made me go within me, find me and become strong again. And so I'm ready to take on the challenge and be such a huge part of Mind Valley and make Mind Valley such a huge part of my life. Thank you. Namaste and Pura Vida.